Hi, this is a part two of three part video series to talk about different concepts of JSON support in SQL 2016. In our last video, we, we introduced to JSON concepts of JSON and we talked about and we looked into how SQL Server manages to transform SQL Server data types to JSON data types and vice versa. In this video, we'll focus more on how to query the relational data, you know, uh, like rows and columns, and uh, how to transform the rows and columns into key value pair or objects. So to do that, uh, SQL Server provides two different ways. One is JSON path, another is JSON auto. Um, they do the same thing, which is they convert the rows and columns to key key value pairs or and objects. But there is a slight difference between them. So uh, in this video, hopefully you will be able to understand the difference between them and when to use which of these in a given particular scenario. And it also provides a couple of uh, different ways to format your data output, uh, JSON output. For example, you know, adding the root element or controlling the null values and things like that. We'll also talk about those more and look into a couple of examples uh, while we look at each, each of these topics. So, you know, over the end of the presentation, you will be able to use uh, these two techniques to transform the data, relational data, into JSON data in SQL Server. So before we go into, into the detail, um, you know, let's quickly recap what we learned from our first video as well as introduce some new, uh, you know, new topics um, that might help us in our later presentation. First is, you know, yes, we all know, you know, JSON object is a, you know, collection of key value pair or pairs uh, separated by comma, where each object contains a key and a value separated by colon, enclosed in a curly braces. Curly braces. So here, an example here, uh, the product ID is a key and the value is one. So this is a key value and uh, enclosed in a curly braces. So this is a JSON object, a valid JSON object. And the second one, we can also look at this example where the, you know, the, this JSON object contains um, more than one key value pair, separated by comma. So this object contains two key value pairs. The first key is the product ID and the value is one. And the second key is product name and the value is Apple. You know, and, and uh, you know, as a, you know, there's different ways you can, you know, um, format your JSON data. The reason we were talking, we are talking about this is that, you know, uh, how you think about relational data you know is 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 way different for you know way different from the json data uh, relational data is all about normalization whereas json you know it, the, the the objective of json is you know where mostly used where it is denormalized i mean there are cases where you can normalize the json data but you know it loses its functionality when you normalize it you know that's where its advantage is where you know it, everything is in json is denormalized so as we talk about these uh, objects and documents, how these are formatted, uh, so you will be able to clearly understand, you know, how you can transform uh, different entity relationship data, for example, one to many or many to many, you know, to a valid JSON document, you know, that is properly formatted. So uh, this, so in this, in this example, for example, the product is a key and the value is a another object which is the this particular section so and the product category is a, is a itself a key and it has an other object so you can see here where the key value pairs are nested on top of each other so this is we can we can term this as a nested object although this is not an official term but this will help us to understand you know or you know quickly think about okay when we talk about nested objects where you have key value pair inside a key value pair and a key value pair i know enclosed inside the key value pair so it's like a nested inside each other so if you format this uh, document properly it looks like this the product has a category and the category has a subcategory which is a grocery sorry so that's you know that's all about json object and uh, next thing is the json array you know json array is a collection of one or more ordered values or objects so for example separated by comma and enclosed in a square bracket 
So the, the JSON object is enclosed in curly braces, whereas JSON array is enclosed in a square bra uh, braces. So this is an important uh, you know, difference that we need to remember rest of the presentation. So here the array has uh, separated by comma, you know, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a valid array, JSON array, and it may not have any value as well. So this is also a valid array. It can be, va you know, comma separated strings um, and a combination of integer and strings. So th this is a valid JSON array. So, and here is another example. So, for example, uh, product ID come uh, product ID is a key and one is a value it is enclosed in a square in a, in a curly braces this is an object comma so there is a, another key with same product ID as a key and different value so this is another object so there are three, three different objects separated by comma uh, kind of creates an array so in you so now you kind of understand array is a it's is a com you know is a is our a set of values or a set of objects, um, similar objects. Most likely, you know, most of the times they are similar. You know, if you put it in an array, it's 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 about a, it's it might be list of uh, objects or list of integers or strings. They're most likely going to be the same, you know, um, data type or similar kind of structure. So, or you can see this object has multiple key value pairs. Um, you know and separated by comma and there is another set of key value pairs separated in a square bracket so there are objects enclosed in an array so you know most likely when you see more than one JSON object uh, it should be enclosed in an array so for example this is another example where products is the key and the value itself is a JSON ob is another object enclosed in a square in a curly in a curly brackets uh, it ca contains another key inside and a values comma so and 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 the key here is uh, name has more values um, in 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 an array so an array can be part of a uh, can be part of a value or an array can contain objects so that is a you know the ordered set of values or objects so that is you know a key definition that we want to remember the rest of this presentation so let this final example here the products uh, key contains an array and that array contains uh, uh, objects you know set of objects so this we can term this as an embedded object where uh, you you know you, you you can visualize this as we are talking about products and uh, each product has an ID and a name so it's, it's, this is a perfect example of a, a, a table containing different rows so it has a, a ID one and a, uh, a name as an apple and ID two as a name as an orange. So you have two rows, um, you know, in a table called products. Uh, so this is an easy way of thinking like, you know, that relationally how you can represent the JSON data. So hopefully this gave you a, a good introduction of, of different JSON objects uh, and that we were going to talk about in this presentation. So the next slide here is um, we're gonna you know uh, thinking relational and JSON. Um, you know, let's say a classic example of a one-to-many relationships in a relational database. How you can vision this as a JSON document? So if you look at the SQL here, you know, let's say we have a person table and a phone table and a phone type. A person can have more than one phone, and each phone can be different types. Uh, work home so this is like a one-to-many relationship between these three tables the where phone is like a joining table between them so if so if we, if, if we write the SQL query to get this data so we join the person table and person phone and person number uh, and we are able to get this data as, as as we can see here so for example we have same person first name last name has two different numbers for different different phone types so this is you know this is how you normally expect a relational um, you know a database when you query a one-to-many relationship so you have one key and different you know uh, you know values for that key uh, in in the child table 
so if you think about the same uh, data in, in in JSON you would think like this so you have the business entity ID first name last name phone is a embedded object uh, just like we discussed bef before an embedded object is a something like this so a phone is an embedded object contains an array of different objects so the array here of objects is type cell and number type work and number so this is a is a, is a valid array of documents enclosed in a in a uh, in a key kind of creates an embedded object you know and and we, you have set of these you know uh, objects enclosed in an array so this kind of creates a uh, where where we are trying to uh, denormalize the data and, and represent the JSON output so now you have a feel you know when you talk about you know getting the data J, you know JSON data from a database you know how you can uh, you know uh, take the data from a normalized fashion into a denormalized JSON data the, the, the advantage of being denormalized is if, if an application is trying to get a contact of a particular person all it has to do is look at this particular document starting from here to here so this document here um, is 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 that's all an application needs to look at whereas in a JS you know if you, if you have a SQL data type it has to join three tables and it has to concatenate or it has to uh, there has to be a way for the application to look at both these rows and figure out that it has two numbers whereas in JATA whereas in JSON where the data is actually enclosed in a embedded object you know the, the duplicated you know data for example the first name and last name is duplicated here I mean because we are querying a, a normalized set of tables but here uh, the, you know everything is in a document and inside the document you have phone and in phone has two different documents which is a type SL and the type is work so hopefully you you the key takeaway from this slide is that you know to be able to uh, clearly uh, pictureize uh, how you can transform the relational data into a denormalized JSON data.